guys, my name is Shama Men and my channel is called Licorice. Welcome to Licorice. I know I have been away for a really long time. I went on this lavish holiday post which I felt really sick. So it's been about two months since I posted anything or even touched my website. Um, so I'm feeling really bad about it. So today I'm making something really special for you guys. This is something I think uh, all of us love and I mean all us non-vegetarians love. It's called the tandoori prawn and uh, this is the most most perfect marinade you're ever going to use because it's it's just amazing okay. Now you can totally do this on your outdoor grill on your barbecue. I prefer doing it in my grill pan because the whole setup for two people is a little painful. So I'm just going to do it in my grill pan. I'm just going to show you exactly what to do. And uh, yeah, I'm not going to talk any further. Let's move on to what we need to make this tandoori prawn. Tandoori prawn, here's all you need. To begin with prawns, of course, I've got about half a kilo of prawns. That's about 10 to 12 large prawns. An egg yolk. Yeah, I know, that's weird, but yeah, you need the egg yolk. Some um, gram flour or basin as we call it. It really helps the marinade stick. This is some yogurt, this very little yogurt, about a tablespoon and a half. I hung it for about 15 minutes so I could um, that helped me drain all the water because we don't want any of the water in the marinade. That's chili powder. That's just plain chili powder. I don't believe in using red color, so I use the Kashmiri chili powder, which has a really nice red color. This is a little turmeric powder, cumin powder. Now this is black salt. I prefer using black salt when it comes to uh, the tandoor marinade because it has this really nice flavor. And this is what you call carom seeds or ajwain. So into the prawns goes the hung yogurt. The gram flour. Chili powder, yeah, all of it, all of it, all of it. So that's how I like it. Turmeric powder, cumin, carom seeds, and of course black salt. Oh. I almost forgot the egg. There. Now we're going to give this a mix. I'm putting my hand in because I think um, that's the most efficient way of doing it. But if you're feeling icky and don't want to put your hand in, you can totally do it with a spoon. Prawns look red without any color. That's the magic of the chili powder. So I'm going to let this rest. This is going to rest for about um, say 15-20 minutes. Seafood doesn't take, doesn't need too much time to rest rather. So um, to marinate, it marinates really quickly. So I'm just going to leave this aside for 15 minutes. Meanwhile, get my grill pan hot and uh, we we'll start skewering the prawns. We're gonna let this kind of warm, not warm actually, should, the heat should be uh, medium high. Bring the grill pan to a nice hot temperature. I'm gonna show you how to skewer, I mean, how to grill your prawns. 
when it gets hot. I'm going to place my prawns in the grill pan and that the sizzle you want to hear. Okay, three skewers, one at once. I'm going to let the temperature be, uh, let the burner be on the high flame. Prawns cook really fast, so keep an eye, don't go somewhere, don't go elsewhere. Just, just stay around. It should take about, um, a minute and a half on each side. I think that's a bit much as well. I don't usually time myself, but say about a minute, not a minute. You want to get a good look at that because it's going to be gone in the next. 60 seconds? I mean the whole plate, not this much. But um, yeah, I'm gonna taste it, tell you exactly what it tastes like. Mm. Isn't it um, unfortunate that you guys watch me all this while and don't get to eat any of it? Go make it in your own kitchen, you're gonna love it! Thank you guys for watching this episode. Subscribe to my channel, Licorice, and I can't speak no more. I've got a in my mouth. Bye, until next time.